What's up guys, Real 50 here. This is gonna be our first of many of upgrade videos for the Ender 5. The first upgrade here that we're gonna do is we're gonna move this filament holder from here to here. We're gonna turn it from this way to this way and we're gonna print something to replace the plain spool thing maybe with some bearings or something. Um, I'm gonna search around and figure out what I wanna do and then I'm gonna insert that print video right here, time lapse. Then right after the print video, we'll go ahead and install it and I'll show you what it looks like and we'll see if we like it. If not, we'll do something else, but I think we're going to like this one. Um, so let's go ahead and print it right now. Okay, so now that we got it printed, let's go ahead and install it on the printer. You have uh, all the tools you need. Right, let's set it back down. All the tools you need are with the printer. I think it's like uh, not the giant one, but the next one down, I believe, is the one for this one. Yeah, there we go. Let's loosen it up. And when I get some, I got some parts on the way um for the wires so i can't do them yet let's go ahead and move this real quick i'm gonna unroll it a couple rows put it down there yeah i got i got a couple things coming uh for the for the track i'm gonna i mean some wire track i'm gonna get some things being made it's gonna be pretty cool gonna be one of my next videos I'm just gonna do all these upgrades in little short videos there we go it's still stuck for some reason That other Tina don't want to come off, does it? That thing does not want to come out. I don't know if there's any tricks to doing this, but if the... If you know any tricks to getting T-nuts out that won't come out after you loosen them, let me know down in the comments. I'm have just a snug bit here. And on the, we're going to take this off because we're not going to need this one on the new one. They just twist off. You want to run it about, you know, about the same height you had it before. And there we go. Now you take your uh, device here, unscrew the screw. All the files for the printed object are gonna be down below. And just remember, you do need two skateboard bearings. Um, you don't have to, the plastic bearings are in the file. Uh, let me grab a plastic bearing. 
there's a plastic bearing. It sets down in the in the guide right here, and then the pin sits right into it. It works okay, but it don't really rotate like this. And for this printer, you can use the full size spool, um, the full length filler mod, but this one is miniature for the Ender 5 Plus. I made it for that, and I'm just gonna use it on this too, because almost every spool is within the 70 millimeter anyway. And screw your nut back on. There you go. And then you just hang your row right on up there. There you go. Now you got a nice roller that rolls right on the um right on the bearings. And it's better in this way anyway. I don't know why they stick it out on the install pictures. I really don't understand that. It looks better right here. It's it's perfect. Um, and like I said, this miniature one works perfect for the smaller reels or the regular reels. There's bigger reels, I'm sure, but I haven't got any of them yet. I went through a few a few uh, kilos, and a bigger one would probably fit on here. It'd probably sit right on the bearings and still work, so it would be fine. Um, and this is super strong. And here's what it ended up looking like. I, I went ahead and rerouted the wires a little bit. Um, I think it looks a little bit better like that, the wires, until I get the track installed. Plus I made sure they wasn't gonna bind up here at the top anywhere. And I did flip this bar around. I flipped it around the other way because uh, I didn't want the wires rubbing on the square side of it. I wanted them rubbing on the smooth side. Um, this is what it looks like installed though. And here it is installed on the Ender 5 Plus. The same exact concept. That's why I didn't film this whole section because it's pretty much the same thing. Here's what it looks like on there. It's a little bit close. Not too bad though. This is on the Ender 5 Plus. All right, cool. Uh, you see it worked out pretty good. It's got the, the roller on there now. Everything's ready to roll, ready to print with it. The next video is going to be the extruder and then there's going to be a video soon after with the wiring all the wiring is going to get fixed up and made a lot nicer than it is now um hope you come back for that don't forget to hit that subscribe button maybe throw a thumbs up on the video all the social medias are real 50 if you want to see anything just hit me up let me know and we'll see if we can make it happen peace